Grüß euch. Probably a lot of you are thinking at this point, what exactly is a DBA? What am I supposed to be doing? How am I supposed to do it? Should I be pronouncing that DBA? Or how do I do this? I've never seen an assignment like this before. And it is really a unique assignment to online schools, because why else would you be calling your teacher? They're right there in front of you. So what I want to do is do a quick simulation of what a DBA is going to be like. Um, and I started that out, you know, back down there, the hallway, you can see is the office that I'm going to be working in. And unfortunately, because of the way the house was built, um, phone is over here. So I have to quick hurry down the hall to be able to talk to you. So if I don't pick up on the first ring, you know, don't worry about it. If I tell you, hey, I've got to go back and grab my computer, um, that's all that's going on there, too. The, where the phone connects to the wall just unfortunately isn't where I get to work at. So... Um, to help me, because it's a conversation and no one else is here at home with me, I have this great dinosaur who's going to give me a call, volunteered, um, and I'm just going to do a quick simulation of what I might ask, um, maybe make some notes about it, and the idea is that you can see the process, and then maybe you're not quite as nervous the first time, you know what's going to happen, um, and it just makes it a little bit easier for you because you're not going in blind to what's going on. So, we have Dan Dinosaur here, and... This dinosaur is probably sitting here thinking, oh, I'm nervous, I don't like calling people on the phone. And hey, you know what, that's fine. I don't always appreciate calling people on the phone either. Um, you never really, yeah, I don't know, sometimes you can feel a little bit intimidated or scared, even though you know there's no good reason for it. Um, and especially talking to his teacher, who he's never talked to before, and he doesn't know what this process is like. He might be worried about some things like, am I supposed to just start talking in German immediately and give this big speech? Do I need to start preparing that? Or maybe he's worried that I'm going to pick up the phone and just start rattling off questions for him. Hey, who are you? What's your name? How old are you? Why haven't you hung up yet? You know, things like that. I don't know why that last one would be a question. But, you know, you get the idea. You're scared. I might say rude things. Um, and, you know, really, the idea is that's not what it's like at all. It's meant to be a nice, casual conversation between us. So you don't want to be... Um, worried about those things. The idea is just that we get to communicate in a way we can't do otherwise in this class. So, di Dinosaur here found a phone. And that might be the place where you start off for your DBA. You think, when is the best time to call? You know, I have office hours going from 7 in the morning to 5 at night. So you can call me after school, you can call me before school, you can call me during school. You know, maybe you find a way to step away at lunchtime. Maybe during your computer hour, you find a way to call me. Maybe your computer class is noisy. But if you ask your mentor, they can probably find you um, a room maybe in the office or a classroom that's not being used that hour um, or something to be able to give you a good, quiet place. That'll help you hear me and me hear you, which we want to be sure happens nice and clearly. So anyway, our dinosaur is going to lay down here. He's going to give me a call. And, you know, the start of the call is really always pretty much the same. Uh, the phone's going to ring. I'm going to hurry down the hall and say, Hello, this is David Mellon with Michigan Virtual. And then you're really going to want to tell me you know, who you are, why you're calling. Um, because I might be lost at work, trying, thinking about other things, not remembering what time it was, but it helps. And sometimes people also call at the wrong time. So I want to be sure you know, I know who I'm working with. So I'm just going to say, then Dinosaur here is going to say, oh, hi, you know, I'm Dinosaur, just calling for my DBA. I'm going to say, okay, that's great. But I'm going to want to know which one, because um, there are two each semester, and there are different levels of class I have. So Dinosaur's going to say, oh, hi, I'm doing my Module 1 DBA. Then the next thing I'm going to ask him, and it'll be the same for you, is did you have a chance to turn in that assignment? Now, the best thing to do, right, you see the DBA assignment right here? Let me zoom that in a bit. All you have to do is click and then scroll down to where it says Submit. We don't need to type anything in there uh, because it's all just a conversation between you and me. But that's how we submit that. And without that, I don't have this rubric, oops, and I don't have a spot in the grade book to put in your grade. So that's why you want to submit it. But I also kind of ask you don't submit it, you know, a week or two weeks beforehand or whatever, because that sort of clogs up my grade books and I get a bunch of DBAs in there. But just the day you're going to call me, be sure you submit that. If not, you know, no worries, it's not a big deal. I'm just going to ask you to hop into Blackboard, submit that real quick, that way we can go on. You know, the next part of the conversation goes on. I try and, you know, talk to you for a little bit, a couple seconds, maybe a couple minutes, depends on how well our conversation goes. But the idea is, you know, any of those uh, butterflies I help you get over, help you keep from being nervous a little bit, get over your nerves. You know, if you're just trying to do German immediately when you're stressed out a little more, you know, that's going to be a little bit harder. If you talk for a few minutes, loosen up, maybe that can be a little bit easier. 
Maybe some of you are thinking, well, that's not me, I don't need that. You know, that's fine, but it does help the people who do need that. So, we've gone on, I've asked Dinosaur, hey, did you turn that in? He's going to say, yeah, of course I did, no problem. I'm going to say, well, all right, that's great, give me a second, and I'm going to open it up so I can score you, because I don't want to forget what your score sh should be. And then also, I'm going to look up my questions. And I have a list of um, a couple questions and you know that I'm supposed to ask you, and I don't ask you all of them. I typically just go with uh, you know three or four questions. We're just trying to get an idea of how well you're talking and how well you're communicating. Um, then before you start the DBA, I always want to also know what's or how class is going for you. So dinosaur and I's conversation might start off a little bit like, "Hey dinosaur, how's class going?" Because you know I want to have dinosaur have a chance to talk, get over his nerves, and I do want to know how class is going too, and if there's anything wrong anyway anything I can do. And you might say, oh yeah, well, you know, it's going great. I just finished up this last unit. It was pretty cool to learn about, you know, my hobbies and stuff. I say, okay, that's awesome. Um, I might follow up then with, hey, before we start this DBA, is there anything I could help you out with? Any place you're stuck with? And, you know, Dinosaur there is going to say, well, you know, I think I'm good. So we'll say, all right, well, that's great, Dinosaur. Let's just jump in right here. And from there, sorry, because these questions are supposed to be secret, so it so we know if you're actually understanding or not. I'm not going to give you the questions, but it might be something like, "Hey, dinosaur, how are you doing?" Dinosaur will say, "I'm doing great." Say, "Well, that's great, dinosaur. Um, what else do you? What's your favorite hobby? Or what color do you like? You know, things like that. Questions that come from the unit. And dinosaur might be saying them like, "Oh yeah, I like the color greenish." because that's what his color is. Or he might say, oh, my favorite hobby is eating birds. You know, after we're done with our conversation, well, actually, let's pause there. During our conversation, remember, the idea is just to chat with each other. If it doesn't come out grammatically perfectly, you know, don't worry about that. We're going to talk. If you don't understand the question, you know, I'm not just going to leave you hanging there and say something like, what's the capital of Germany? And then you're going to be panicking and panicking, saying, I don't know these words, because we haven't taught them to you yet. You know, I'm going to you know, one, ask you questions you should have heard of. They're from the text. And then, yeah, I'm going to try and walk you through them. If I say something like, hey, dinosaur, what color do you like? And he's just totally panicking and not getting it. I might say something like, well, my favorite color is green. You know, do you like the color green? And they'll be thinking, oh, yeah, yeah, I like green. And then from there, dinosaur can go on and make his own sentence. Anyway, so we'll go on. We'll chat. I'll try and work with him anywhere. You maybe rearrange a question, give him some hints if he's struggling. Um, afterwards, we can talk about the rubric a little bit, talk about the grades. Um, you can see, if you can read this rubric, you know, we have full credit. Notice it says, answers the questions posed by the teacher. Not answers perfectly, or gets the grammar 100%, or anything like that, but just, did you understand me? And were you able, and then the next one, uses comprehensible German such as memorized words and phrases. And that's really sort of like technical talk. Um, when we talk about languages, that just means, could I understand? Um, so was your pronunciation good enough? And it's that way because it's a conversation. Imagine a conversation between someone in real life. If you didn't understand them, you're not just going to say, huh, you fail. You're going to you know, ask them, say, what did you say? Could you repeat that? Um, you're going to go and you're going to figure out what they meant. You're not just going to leave them hanging or, you know, something crazy like that. Anyway, this is going on pretty long, so I guess we want to wind down. We'll talk about your grade a little bit. I'll give you another chance, you know, ask you if there's anything you need help with. Um, if there's anything that came up in the conversation that I think you should know about or maybe take another look at, I'll mention that. You know, and then we'll say goodbye and hopefully, you know, You'll go on and you say, hey, this is no problem. It was kind of fun to talk in German, and that'll be awesome. So let me know if I can ever help you out. You know, I want to make sure that you can do an awesome job, and I want to make sure that you're enjoying class.